Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken and today's experiment is the Konda effect. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a circle jug or a bottle, a square jug or a square box, a candle, and a lighter. We're starting off with two different bottles. As I said, one is square, the Elmer's glue, and the vinegar bottle is round. The same size, uh, so I'm not using different sizes, but you just have to have one round and one square. It doesn't have to be a bottle. And then we're going to start our experiment. So to set this up, you need to put start off with your square jug or a bottle. And I have an Elmer's glue square square jar. Light your candle behind it. Be very careful. Have an adult with you and blow about three or four inches away from it as hard as you can and try to blow the candle out. As you can see, it's very difficult and you cannot do it. We switch to the round bottle and there it goes. It goes out immediately. Well, why does it work for the round and not the square? And what's the science behind it? Well, when you blow into the square jug, the air has to change directions, and it will follow the surface until it hits a sharp corner, at which that point the flow will tend to separate from the surface of the square jug and carry off to the sides, as, as seen in the diagram. On the other hand, when you blow at the round circled bottle, the air will tend to stick to the surface even as the surface curves. This is called the Konda effect. This is the way the air curves all the way around the bottle and can blow out the candle. The air is deflected from its original path far less by the bottle than it is by the square box, which is the reason cars tend to have a very smooth streamlined shapes, which are used for far less energy to move fast. Here's a top view with the, with the round uh, vinegar bottle. As you can see, when I blow it, sticks around the sides and blows out the candle. Whereas when I use the square glue jug and blow, I can blow continuous times and it continually will not blow out because the air does not follow along the outside edges. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.